Paul Pierce, Jalen Rose, Chauncey Billups. My name is Michelle. Last night we saw a home court win streak snapped as the Rockets stunned the Warriors. And we'll dive deep into that a little bit later. But first, we got to start with a home court win that's, that's still intact. We got a streak going, ladies and gentlemen. Boston has struggled on the road this postseason, but they are a perfect 9 0 at home at TD Garden. A 10th win would tie an NBA record for most consecutive home postseason victories. But the Celtics know they can't rely solely on the energy of the crowd. It's exciting to be um, able to compete at this level, you know, certainly in, the ven in, the, in this venue in front of our fans. Um, and at the same time, we have a job to do once we get between those lines. We're comfortable at home, you know, playing on the road, somebody else's environment, a hostile environment, it's hard, it's tough for anybody, you know, but uh, you got to find a way to do it. Chauncey, we'll start with you here. Who do you trust more tonight, LeBron or the Celtics at home? Um, I, I trust the guy that's been there before, that's done it a lot of times, LeBron James. A lot of times. in the world. Yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been in this position a lot. Game fives. <laughs> what you mean? Oh, wow. He's this lost, the last, three, he's lost the last three game fives versus the Boston Celtics. What you mean? Versus the Boston Celtics. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's lost the last the three game fives. That's the only team he's five. played against. Well, that's where he got to go tonight. He got to go to the Boston Celtics. Are you kidding Celtics. me? I'm, play, I'm going that's the best player go. in the world and the champion. How many champions on your roster, Paul? We got, we got. All right, that's what I thought. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> he got one not playing. <laughs> he's not playing. <laughs> He hasn't won a game five in Boston. I mean, come on now. It has to be the Garden. I mean, that is a special place. There's very few arenas in a league to where you're like, we're going there to play, and you feel kind of intimidated by playing in there. And the Boston James Garden, is not going to feel intimidated and, by Boston No, of Boston course he's Celtics. not. LeBron won't. Of course he won't. That's but, the question, Paul. Hey, is this, LeBron James or the this, Celtics? This, look at LeBron turns the ball over. Eight, nine times every time now he comes you, to the Boston you're doing Garden. Play by play. <laughs> every time he comes to the Boston <laughs> Garden. I mean, of course you gotta trust LeBron, but I don't trust the rest of his teammates. That's oh, the so you got with LeBron? No, LeBron gonna score forty. He scored forty in game two. Had a, had a triple double. Hey, they, they can't can, win. Can you get him to the I just don't like it when mom and dad fight. I trust fight, so Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. Okay, that's good. Okay, you so gotta we got a Celtics. We, we got a LeBron. Tonight, I'm actually with the truth. Mr. Big Come Shot. On now. I'm not and mad at you. <laughs> I think the Boston Celtics, they're a different basketball team at home. They're undefeated this playoff. They score 15 more points. Their young players really flourish on their home floor. I think we're going to see a rejuvenated Jason Tatum, a more efficient Jalen Brown. Remember at the second quarter, he made a bad decision when they had a two-for-one opportunity. How about this for home cooking? They missed 15 layups or dunks in the previous game. Oh, that's not happening at home. You just that's concentrate and you finish those buckets at home. So I think they're going to play with a lot more enthusiasm and a lot more productivity. But of course you're going to trust LeBron. LeBron, we, we'll probably get 40 tonight. See, that will probably get But I think, don't you think that was enough. the question, though? Is, is do you trust LeBron, meaning do you trust LeBron to get enough done that his team walks away with a win tonight? See, right? I, I didn't. I answered you it You took just it to literally. You. I did. Because Why? I actually feel like he actually the Boston Celtics have the advantage tonight. I feel like they have the advantage tonight. Okay. But I trust LeBron James more than I trust this team that don't have a lot of this experience. This team that hasn't lost at home in no, the playoffs. They haven't. They you don't trust them right there. No, not more than LeBron James. <laughs> you're not, you're not, <laughs> not more than LeBron James. Of course he's going to play well. When has he not played well? He's going to play well. Yeah. Can you tell him what the question was? I got to be honest with you. I feel like I'm siding over here. Yes. Yeah, but that's <laughs> because I feel like you're taking it literally. Like LeBron's going to. Well, how am I supposed to take a question? <laughs> well, it's just. It Let me means read this LeBron question. Do you want, do I, to take should I read this question? Okay. Here's the deal. If we were in a court right now, I would be telling you. I would win this argument. But when we say LeBron, yeah, you're, we you're going LeBron with LeBron to lead them to the victory. Cavs. And the Cavs. Oh boy, I tell it, you. you got, Phillips, I mean, you'll take I LeBron know. anywhere. I mean, right, but do you yeah, trust LeBron to carry them to, to the win tonight in Boston? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? So are we changing the question? Yes or no? <laughs> no I, just, I just we, answered the question. Both of you yeah. Renaissance individuals that have seen so many different movies and uh, allow your personalities to flourish, you guys know about storylines. Y'all see what's happening right now? No. LeBron James game seven at the Boston Garden. I'll take it. That's, that's what this is lining up for. That's absolutely. I'm the Celtics to play well. Oh, you don't want to see him in game seven, uh, yeah. but you want to see him in a game five. I mean, LeBron, LeBron James, you give him one game. So you I mean, don't want to see him in game seven, but you're doing game five. I personally want to see him, and I have seen him. I'm saying this. You don't want to see that man right now. Cut it out, Paul. Uh, okay, I'm 10 pounds overweight since my Oh, this ten, is getting ten, Of course I don't, of course I don't I'm want ten to see him. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't want to get to the body shape. Of course, I, don't want to match up. <laughs> I can barely move. Um, 
<laughs> TD Garden in Boston, where not only is the current win streak alive, but also where the Celtics have not lost with the series tied 2-2 since 2005. For more on the game, we welcome in hey, DB. Hey, DB. Okay, hey, Doris, you're fun. hearing these guys fight back and forth. <laughs> we know Boston yeah. has looked very different on the road versus at home. What do they need to get back to tonight where they were before? Well, I agree with Jalen Rose, which was rare when I was in your seat, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the young guys and, and how they were effective in games one and two here. And I'll start with Terry Rozier because as Jalen touched on, the number of layups and dunks they missed, this guy in particular, multiple times in Cleveland, he was here. He just couldn't complete. Now, that's one heck of a play by Tristan Thompson, but I anticipate that he and Jalen Brown, who just plays bully ball with Kyle Korver here at home, and the athleticism is apart versus the guy we saw who didn't take as good a shots on the road. I, I anticipate those young guys are going to play great here. Well, just let's, let's just make it awkward and put a spotlight on one of them, because obviously playing as a team has been wonderful to watch, and they've done it well. But if you're picking out a guy that needs to step up the most this evening, who are you saying it is? You know, believe it or not, I'm just really, my eyes are trained on Marcus Morris tonight. And the reason I say that, Michelle, is because I think he needs to defend without fouling, which was problematic in the last game. And I also believe when he scores the basketball, when he gets like 15 to 17, Boston goes to a different level. So that's the one guy I'm watching, Michelle. All right, Doris, enjoy the game. Thank you. Thanks. Jalen, you agree? Doris has on an expensive outfit. She was killing them. <laughs> I'm not what? mad at her at all. Don't be out in her business does. like that. I'm, I'm, I'm was it Boss Main? She got style. Yeah, I see she's killing them. <laughs> Bow down. <laughs> I agree with her. This basketball team that Paul Pierce, um, they raised Paul Pierce's jersey, look a lot different than me when Morris plays with consistency. Like, if when he's locked in and giving them that toughness and that productivity, they are different. But to me, the anchor's Al Horford. Um, they've gotten a lot of confidence in Cleveland by feeling like Tristan Thompson can slow him down. And based on that, He's not necessarily getting the activity that he was getting in Boston, mm. not only from the post, but from three-point range, because Kevin Love was primarily guarding him. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Can Al Horford be a difference maker? Of course, he's going to give you the effort, Mr. Big Shot, and the leadership, but they're going to need his points. I'm going to be a little biased here. You know, I'm biased to point guards. I've seen Horford have some good moments. Brown, Tatum, they've had good moments in the series. I'm looking forward to Scary Terry. I think he needs to step it up a little bit. They picked on him a lot in switches on pick and roll situations. He's switching on the big guys, then re-switching and running all over the place. I, I need to see him offensively be able to attack um, and go to work because they, they, they really are picking on him. And he's not a bad defender at all. He's just giving up a lot of height and, and weight and some of these uh, mismatches on the switches. But offensively, I think he has an advantage. He's very shifty. He has a coach that puts him in great positions, and we just haven't seen him have one of those big nights that we've seen in prior two series. But you're the godfather to all of these players in the league. Can you talk to your young boy, tell him to hold his ground a little bit? And can you talk <laughs> to the Boston Celtics about helping them when LeBron James takes two or three dribbles? Uh, you well, might want to help is, Terry Rozier. We won. I mean, the Boston Celtics have won games where LeBron has gone off for 40 points. You know, that's not the issue right there. LeBron is going to be LeBron. It's stopping these other guys. You can't let Carl, Kyle Corver come out here and be dominant. He's out here getting three blocks, shooting, at, shooting lights out from three. You know, George Hill's getting double figures now all of a sudden. That's the key to the uh, Cavs team. We all know that. But to me, it has to be Jason Tatum. He has to go out there and be aggressive from the start. When he's going out there, he scores 20, 25 points. They're nearly unbeatable. You know, this guy, he, he's ultra talented. He's the one guy outside of Terry and, you know, Jalen Brown to some degree that can get his shot off in the half court. And we know when it comes down to half court possessions, he has to be the guy to get them a buck, especially if he's matched up with Kyle Corver. All four of you had a different answer. That's impressive.